have those things that just get under your skin and you don't know why. Like, do you ever have those just those those small annoyances that they're not really a big problem, but when you when you think about it long enough, it just nips away at you, and you don't feel comfortable thinking about it, and you just it's just an annoyance, and it's just it's it's really just unclean and things. Well, that's what I feel right now. We all have things that make us cringe, whether it be terrible jokes, awkward photos really embarrassing situations or things that just don't just make us go oh god ah oh. and we all have them and they're, they could be big they could be small they could be anything you want but if there's one thing that really makes me cringe it's this now I'm a big horror fan I love horror films horror stories uh, I've got all of the complete works of uh, H.P. Lovecraft, Edgar Allan Poe, all on my desk. I've got a stack of horror films from DVD, Blu-ray and tape uh, just sitting around. And I love horror, I really do love horror. And in this generation we've been getting a new generation of internet horror stories which are great. Unfortunately, the website they're on has the most ridiculous sounding name I've ever heard in my life and it makes me cringe to the point of desperation. It's called Creepypasta. Oh. And this is where I have some problems. Now, I understand the origins of how the name Creepypasta came about, and it is relevant, you know, it does make sense why that name would come about. But at the same time, if you just say it out loud, it sounds like the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard in your life. It sounds like a child's attempt of trying to tell horror stories when he's only four or five and hasn't even mastered the fact that there's things hiding underneath his bed. I mean, when you hear the name Creepypasta, I honestly imagine people taking pictures of, you know, macaroni pictures of dried pasta that they make with glue and just painted the entire Universal Monsters line all out in one. And it just, it doesn't look cool. It's just, it's just a, it's just such a stupid name. But the website has some of the most amazing horror stories you've ever read. Like things like Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, uh, like the Russian Sleep Doll Experiment, all of these came from this website, but unfortunately they're masqueraded with the worst name on a website you could ever find. I mean, do you imagine, could you imagine if Edgar Allan Poe was alive today and he wrote The Telltale Heart and he somehow wanted to change the title to fit today's standards and he just called it, you know, The Hide and Spooky Seek. No, you wouldn't because that's ridiculous. Why can't it have a more serious name? Why do we have to give it the name Creepypasta? Why can't it be something that's relevant or something that's just like something that would make you click on you know there's there's viral videos online that have terrified people agonemnon experiment what the hell does that name even mean and it's still one of the most creepiest videos i've ever seen hand thing that title in itself is just a weird title and it has one of the most disturbing videos i've ever seen there links will be included down below so yeah that's that's just something that gets under my skin i don't get the name Creepypasta, as a matter of fact, it gives me stress thinking about it just because it's so, ch it just sounds childish, it sounds silly, and maybe that was the, maybe that was the point, maybe they wanted to try and lure you into a false sense of security to make you think that you're going to get something that isn't as scary as what you ended up getting. That's just my assumption, although I could be wrong, I have been wrong before. Anyway, just, just this name, Creepypasta, it's, it's just stupid, I just, oh, I... <laughs> I would like these stories more, I would love for them to be shared more if they just had this, didn't have this burden of an awful name, you know? It's when you meet somebody that's got like a name like Precious or something, or this really ridiculous something like that, you know? It's just, ugh. Oh. <sighs> yeah, that, like that, that gets under my skin. The name Creepypasta. If there was, even saying it, I get embarrassed saying it because it's just, like, people take it seriously online when you say, this is the top 10 best creepypastas and you're like no don't try and say that with a serious voice because you can't creepypasta the most ridiculous name for horror ever